హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫండమెంటల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐఓటి ఇన్ షార్ట్ ఎఫ్ఐఓటి ఇన్ టుడేస్ క్లాస్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఇంటర్ఫేస్ డిహెచ్టి సెన్సార్ టు ద రాజ్బరి పై అండ్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ ద పారామీటర్స్ ఆఫ్ టెంపరేచర్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ హ్యూమిడిటీ ఇన్ ద రాజ్బరి పై మౌంటర్ ఓకే సో ఫార్ దిస్ ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఇంటర్ఫేస్ ఆర్ కనెక్ట్ ద డిహెచ్టి సెన్సార్ డిజిటల్ హ్యూమిడిటీ టెంపరేచర్ సెన్సార్ టు ద రాజ్బరి పై so if you carefully observe here this dhd sensor is having three pins okay so starting from this side the first pin is the vcc pin the second pin or the middle pin is the data pin and the last one near the led is the ground pin okay so the vcc should be connected to okay so the vcc should be connected to the second pin technically for the raspberry pi so you have uh, from the right side the first two pins will be the vcc pins okay and the uh, next pin will be the ground pin and the ground pin will be connected to the ground of the raspberry pi so almost 1 2 3 4 5 and 6th pin will be the uh, ground pin and if you see here we are considering data pin for the gpio of raspberry pi that means the data pin of dhd sensor is connected to the gpio 4 pin fourth pin okay so this green wire is the gpio 4th pin which is almost 1 2 3 4 5 6 7th pin okay seventh pin of the raspberry pi in the left side okay so vcc can be given to uh, vcc of uh, dhd sensor can be given to the 5 volts or vcc of the raspberry pi ground should be connected to the ground pin and the middle data pin is connected to the seventh pin or the gpio fourth pin okay so these are the simple connections of dhd 11 sensor interfacing with the raspberry pi now let's get into the raspberry pi operating system and let's see uh, what are the commands used and how to fetch the humidity and temperature values now let's see the software part okay for that first we need to open the command line interface okay so once the command line interface is open first we need to see whether uh, python 3 is installed in the operating system or not okay so in order to install or check the python 3 whether it is installed or not let us type a command sudo app app install python 3 hyphen pip okay press enter see it is downloading the packages and it is showing like python 3 is already installed with the newest version okay now what we need to do is we need to install the libraries of adafruit dhd sensor okay so for that what we need to do is we need to use a command called sudo space pip 3 install adafruit underscore d h t these are the inbuilt libraries we are using for the dhd sensor such that the values will be uh, continuously reading into the command line interface okay with the help of the program so let's press enter okay wait for a while you can see the installation of the adafruit dhd libraries okay so requirement already satisfied as i am already having that of fruit dhd library it is showing it is already satisfied otherwise it will be uh, installed into the uh, system okay now what we need to do is we need to open the terminal so to write the program so for that first i will open the program i already have a program so first let me open the program
So this is a program of DHT sensor. Let me copy it. Copy. Okay. And let's let's open a text editor. Okay, in the text editor only you need to write the program. Okay. So now as we have copied the program, just let's paste it. See, import Adafruit underscore DHT. We have already installed the libraries called Adafruit DHT and import time, okay? As we need to give some sort of delay for each and every reading, we are importing time, okay? So DHT sensor is equal to Adafruit DHT dot DHT 11, okay? This is the uh, libraries. Okay, and uh, if at all we are using DHT22, we need to change the number over here. As I'm using DHT11, I'm using the same command as well, okay? And as I have used the sensor uh, to the GPIO fourth pin, right? So DTH pin is equal to four, okay? So while true, now we need to write, write the logic, okay? So while true, so the uh, libraries need to get activated. So humidity comma temperature is equal to add up DTH dot read with some DHT sensor DHT pin. Okay. So the DHT pin is nothing but the GPIO fourth pin, right? Fourth pin need to continuously read the data with the help of libraries. Okay. Now, once the temperature and humidity is continuously read by the uh, libraries or the code what we are giving it will be in it will be printing okay uh, in this particular format temperature with some uh, current heat celsius okay and the humidity with some percentage okay so this is the format for the temperature as well as humidity else if there is any loose connection or something like that it will be showing sensor failure check wiring, okay? So this is a simple, small uh, program in order to uh, read the data of temperature as well as humidity from the sensor. Now, as we have written the program, first what we need to do is, we need to go to file and need to, we need to save, okay? So click on save, okay? So it will be showing save as, okay? Make sure that we are in the, root directly uh, directly okay so what how we need to uh, save means so get some like a dht some sensor okay dot py py is the extension for the python okay. so dot py okay and click on save now our file has been saved properly. DHD sensor.py. It has been saved successfully. Now let's minimize it. Okay. Now again we are into the command line interface. Now let's see uh, whether it it is the code is working or not. For that, what we need to type is sudo space python space whatever the uh, file name we have given, we need to enter here. Okay. So, what is the file name we have given? DHT sensor dot py. Okay. Let Enter. See, you can clearly see the values of temperature as well as humidity, okay, uh, taken from the directly from the sensor, okay. So, whenever the temperature or humidity changes, you can clearly see the change of temperature as well as humidity in the screen as well, okay. So, if at all there is any loose connection or something like that, you can clearly see.